Hey, May. I see you got on your May eyes for like you always do. If you guys already watched Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, you are familiar with that iconic line. So this is my maid outfit. I like to be very comfortable when I'm cleaning up. So I usually wear like sweats or pajamas. So at the very beginning of this pandemic, my mom actually sent me a box full of goodies. So I'm using a lot of these items in the box to clean in this video. Shout out to my mom because obviously these cleaning supplies are very hard to find these days. <laughs> Before I clean, I always have to put on some music first, so that's what I'm doing here. And this is just a look at what my place looks like right now. Kind of just have things thrown all over, so let's get started. Thankfully, we have valet trash, so they come pick up our trash bag outside of our door. So first, I like to just gather all of my trash and then put it outside. And then of course, before I touch anything else, I have to wash my hands because, you know, germs are everywhere. So now I'm just going to clean the inside of my oven. Of course, once I spray this in, I had to let it sit for at least two hours. So I did a few other things while I waited for that to finish. So because my sink doesn't have a divider in it, it's just big and deep, after I wash my dishes, I do have to put them on the side of my counter. And obviously I wanna make sure my counter is clean before I put my clean dishes on top of it.
sometimes I like to use bleach when I wash dishes, mostly only when I'm cooking raw meat or if I'm washing my water bottles from work because I work in a hospital and I want them to be as clean as possible. So it's important that you use the bleach that says it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. You don't want to use the bleach that's splashless because that one doesn't say anything about disinfecting or killing germs. A few days ago, I went to the grocery store and of course, I just put my water in the middle of the floor. I mean, where else would I put it? <laughs> and I like to use Lysol or my Clorox wipes to wipe down anything that I buy from the store these days because, uh, you know, coronavirus. Um, and don't, don't get on me for having so many water bottles, okay? I usually use my water filter in my refrigerator, but um, it stopped working on me, so I just had to buy some water from the store. All right, so now I am cleaning out the inside of my refrigerator and freezer. First, I'm just taking out everything and then I'm going to wipe it down because the inside of your refrigerator can get very dirty, trust me.
moving right along, I am now picking up all the random items just lying around. And so Pop Socket was giving out these free I Can't Breathe things. So I decided to get one. I just want to point out that Black Lives Matter and let's not forget to continue to fight for what's right and end police brutality. Now onto the living room. I always clean in the same order. I usually do my kitchen, then my living room, then my bathroom, and then my bedroom. So now I'm just dusting, and then I want to vacuum. It may seem weird to some people that I vacuum my couch, but I've got like this tuft upholstery, so there's lots of crevices and you know, all kinds of things can get in there, so it's a lot easier to just vacuum it. Now that some time has passed, I can finally finish cleaning out my oven. Once again, it's very important for me to wash my hands before I touch my clean dishes. I hate when people don't wash their hands before unloading the dishwasher. Ew, so nasty.
just like the title of this video says, this is a deep cleaning video. So I tried to make sure I clean things that I don't normally clean, like the mini blinds and also the top of my refrigerator. I think we often forget about these things, so I wanted to make sure I cleaned pretty much everything in this video. And now, onto the bathroom. First, I like to put away everything that's just cluttered on the counter. And I often like to use Lysol or my Clorox wipes in the bathroom. To clean my toothbrush, I like to boil some water and I'll just stick my toothbrush into that boiling water. Or I also like to use a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. You can use either one. Don't forget to clean your toothbrush cover also and your toothbrush holder. And of course, wash your hands before you touch your toothbrush and put on clean gloves if you're using gloves like me. And so you guys saw me wipe down my toothbrush cover. Sometimes I'll also put it in boiling water or hydrogen peroxide too. So when I got these little bowl cleaner things, I didn't realize I got the one that turns your water blue, but um, I did, so now I'm stuck with blue water for quite some time. <laughs> oh well, as long as it gets the job done. For my shower, I usually like to use my scrubbing bubbles, but as I was using it, I started to run out, so I went to grab my Clorox spray. After letting that sit for a few minutes, I like to wipe down my tub, 
disinfect everything and then I just rinse everything out. I really like that my shower head comes down. It makes it a lot easier to rinse and clean everything. So I like to clean off my counters and everything first and then sweep last. My mom was nice enough to let me use her steamer, so I use that in the kitchen, living room, and bathroom. Now it's finally time for my bedroom. Look at this mess, oh my gosh. I decided to wash everything on my bed, not just my sheets, but also my duvet and my mattress protector. Oh, and I forgot to point out that this is the next day. Um, that's why I'm wearing different clothes because I just had too much to do and it was taking a lot longer than I thought it would and first day was early in the morning and I had to go to sleep before I had to go to work. So this is my first time ever vacuuming my mattress. It's a new mattress, but I didn't know vacuuming your mattress was a thing until I saw other people doing it. So I decided to give it a try.
I've had this guitar for years and I still don't know how to play it so it is literally collecting dust it was so dirty oh my gosh My mom was also nice enough to let me use her Bissell to shampoo my carpet. So the first time I used this white wrapper and moved into this apartment, the floor was so dirty. Oh my gosh. So guys, if you ever move into an apartment, I recommend that you shampoo your carpet because they probably won't do it for you. They probably only vacuum. When I clean my carpet, I like to go over the entire floor at least three or four times and I just dump out the dirty water and add more water and cleaning solution as needed. Look at how dirty my water is. This is why it's important to shampoo your carpet. Once I'm done, I like to turn on the fan to help the carpet dry a little quicker. When washing my towels, I do like to use a little bit of bleach too. I typically will use the one that says it kills 99.9% .9 of germs, but I'm trying to get rid of this splashless bleach first. So that's what I'm gonna use this time. So because I'm not using the bleach that kills 99.9% .9 of germs, instead I'm going to use this Lysol product, which apparently does the same thing. It's new and I just started using it a few weeks ago. So now I'm just going to go throughout my entire apartment and wipe down anything that is commonly touched. So my washer, dryer, light switches, door handles keys, cell phone, chapstick, literally you name it. If I touch it, I want to disinfect it. So 
Don't forget to read the labels on the back of the cleaning products that you use because sometimes we think we're disinfecting and we're actually not. For example, with Lysol, you want to make sure you spray your surfaces and instead of wiping it down, you have to let it sit for three minutes to kill germs. Um, and you also have to let it sit for 10 minutes to kill other types of germs. So it really just depends. And of course, I have to get it smelling really good in my apartment. I love these little plug-in things. So this time I'm just gonna use a vanilla passion fruit scent. There's nothing like lighting a candle or putting in new air fresheners when you're almost done cleaning. The last thing that I like to clean in my apartment is my balcony. I mean, look at this, it's pretty dirty. I've got spider webs, ew, so nasty. So to clean my balcony, I like to get a bowl of soapy warm water and I just basically pour that all over my balcony because it's a lot easier to clean with the water. If I just sweep without the water, then I have pollen, dirt, just flying all over the place, and I don't have time for that. <laughs> so I like to wash everything away, and I also like to tie my hair up so that I don't have to worry about spider webs or dust getting all into my hair. I also like to wipe down my swing chair and just the balcony to kind of really make sure I'm getting all the dirt and spider webs off. Last but not least, I'm moving on to my car. I just wanna disinfect everything that I touch on a regular basis. As you can see, I am now wearing something else again because I decided to take a shower after cleaning off my balcony and my car. Um, I obviously want to wash and have clean clothes on before I start to make my bed. My duvet always comes out so wrinkled after I wash and dry it, so I like to take my iron and just get those wrinkles out, which I know is kind of weird, but you know, whatever gets the job done, right? All right, I am finally done. So this is what everything looks like now that it is squeaky clean. 
this is a really long video, a lot different from anything I've ever done in the past. So if you have made it to the end, I just wanna say thank you for watching. If you wanna take a closer look at my apartment, make sure you check out my apartment tour. And I just wanna say, I hope you all have a lovely day. See you in the next video, bye.